See, during rainy season, this river flash floods, washing away all the homes and anyone unlucky enough to be inside. The reason for me to do this video is because I've come across some persons who were talking about Mr. Beast building the houses and it's recording. In this video, we are building and giving away 100 houses. And each home is going to change a family's life. Like this family, who didn't have a house to call their own. And they have no idea we just built them one. Take off your blindfolds and turn around. Behind you is your brand new home. <laughs> Welcome back, guys, to another video. Welcome back to Patra's Zone. How are you guys doing today? I hope you are having a wonderful day as usual, guys. Remember to take care of yourself. Your mental health is important and take care of others if you can. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for tuning into my channel. As you see in my title, guys, yes, I will be giving my views on Mr. Beast building houses in Jamaica. It's a wonderful feeling. It is something good that he has done. And I just want to say thank you to Mr. Beast for reaching out to those persons who were homeless or who were living in a deplorable condition and you saw their needs and you went and you delivered. We, we Jamaican, we appreciate what you have done so far and, you know, thumbs up to you and all the best in the future. May your food basket will never go empty. I am sure the persons who receive the houses that you have built, they appreciate it so much. And I'm sure they are living a much better life than they were living before. Because, you know, without a roof over your head, without some comfortable space, you're going to be miserable. And I'm sure it has made life much easier for them. So we, we Jamaican, we appreciate you so much. But before I get any further into this video, guys, please go ahead and leave a thumbs up on this video, comment, share, and subscribe to Patra Zone. Yes, guys, so let me know what you think about Mr. Beast building these houses all over the world and doing the recording on them because persons are having issues with it while others are not. But I'm going to give you my views on it. But before I go any further, guys, I'm going to show you, before I say anything more, I'm just going to give you a synopsis of some of the houses that he has built um, in Jamaica and across the world. Because he has not been doing this only for Jamaica. He has been doing it for other countries as well. So just look at, take a look at this video, guys, and tell me what you think. Um, and then I'll tell you my point of view. In this video, we are building and giving away 100 houses. And each home is going to change a family's life. Like this family, who didn't have a house to call their own. And they have no idea we just built them one. Take off your blindfolds and turn around. Behind you is your brand new home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was not expecting that reaction. <laughs> she is freaking out. I always want them to have a bunk bed. I'm a dream come true. And this is just the first of 100 houses Whoa, we're giving away. First? <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad they're happy. Let's go give away another house. With every single home we're building in this video, we're improving quality of life for families who don't have a safe space to call home. And we spent millions of dollars just on this video building these houses. Because here in Jamaica, there are currently over half a million people living in unsafe, life-threatening conditions, like this next family, whose house is so unsafe and unstable that it could literally collapse on them at any given moment. So you built this place? Yeah. By yourself? Yeah, I brought boards and all materials, they say. But we're on top of a mountain, so you carried all this material up this mountain. Yep. On my head. head. Wow. We knew we wanted to build this family a house. So we sent, house. So we sent them on a mini vacation so that we had enough time to work with our partners to build them a brand new home. You're about to witness a family that lives in this house go to living in this house. And I cannot wait to see the look on their faces. Oh my. <laughs> what you are looking at is your brand new home. The trip we sent you guys on was just a decoy so we could have time to build this brand new house for you. You want to see the inside? Come check it out. Whoa. 
we noticed that you guys might need some new furniture. So we completely furnished your new home. Now on top of electricity, you have a water tank for running water. We put bunk beds in this room for two of the kids. Oh my. And if you go across the hallway, you'll see your bedroom. Ooh, nice. With a little crib, because I heard you had a newborn. Tyra, that's your crib. Oh. It's been really hard. It's going to be nice to turn up. Here's officially the deed to the house. Thank you guys so much. And it sucks, but some of these places that these families live are extremely unsafe and in some cases life-threatening. That's where this family currently lives. The mom was telling us that that roof doesn't work. Whenever the rain fall, the whole place flooded all over here. Her kids get soaked and can't sleep. And as of today, that will not happen again. We built that brand new home for you. Here's the keys. Oh my God, yay! <laughs> I got a new house. <laughs> But of course, this was just the beginning. We were able to build home after home for families in Jamaica. And we weren't gonna stop until we had built 100 houses. But unfortunately, at our next destination, there's a river that destroys hundreds of homes. So he went to Jamaica in the process of building 100 houses. Jamaica was a part of this. And I'm so happy that he chose Jamaica and he was able to help persons who really needed the help. And he didn't just build the houses, he furnished them as well. Thank you, Mr. Beast, for what you have done for these people of Jamaica. Now, let me know in the comment if you think he should record when he's doing his charity. When I came across this video where persons were saying that if he's doing charity, if he's doing something good for others, he should not record, guys. And I was a bit taken aback because, you know why? This is what he does. This is how he is able to come up with the resources to build these houses for people. So even if he's going to record or not, I don't think persons should have a problem with it. They should look on the good side of things. He is doing this for others and how did he come up with the funds, the resources to build these houses? It's because of his, the job that he does. He is a vlogger, he's a YouTuber, and that's where he gets his money. This is what makes him who he is, giving back to others. So in order for him to earn, he has to record. And to record, he has to show to the public for them to watch, for him to get his earnings from YouTube. So I do not have a problem with him recording because he's doing something good. If it was a case where for my, like myself, if I'm help, going out there to help somebody and YouTube was the reason where I get my resources from, I wouldn't record it. If it was a, no, a normal person who does not do youtube for their job and they go and they help somebody without the aid of youtube vlogs or without the aid of youtube videos then i can understand if they go and start recording us um post post the video like that just for people to see or it's because they are bragging to show that they are helping somebody no i this is what he does he record he help people and he record and that's where he get his earning that's where he get the revenue or his earnings the resources so he can help others so i do not have a problem with mr beast recording these people that he's building the homes for yes persons may say he could have built the house record that but don't show the people to each his own i'm sure he has mentioned to the persons that look i'm building these houses i'm recording it's is it okay for me to record you if they give him permission to record them, then who am I to have a problem with that? You know, so I am sure if those persons were having had, had a problem with being in his video, they would have said it to him. They didn't have a problem, more than likely. So that's why he showed it. He must have explained, he must have some guidelines, some rules towards, you know, him doing all of that and persons have to agree to or disagree to. So to each his own if he wants to record it's fine that's what he does so i do not have a problem with that other persons have a problem to each his own you know but i understand where he's coming from this is what he does so 
leave in the comment guys and let me know what you think if you think mr beast did a good job if you think he shouldn't have record these people and post them if you think it's okay for him to record the good work that he has been doing for our persons um whether or not he should record it and show it to the public because for me as i said to you that's what he does that's how we get his earnings so leave it in the comment leave it in the comment and let me know and i just want to say thank you again to mr beast for the hard work that he has been doing for persons over the world not just for jamaica but for all the persons in the world you know all those good things and continue to making these exciting and creative videos they are you make unique videos so thank you again for all that you have been doing for others and not keeping all of that to yourself and yeah so guys so please go ahead like this video leave a comment share this video and let me know what you think subscribe to the channel if you are not yet a subscriber and hit the notification bell to get notified as soon as i drop a new video guys i'm on the road to 2000 subscribers so please help to get me there and i'll see you soon in my next video bye for now remember to take care of yourself and take care of others take off your blindfolds and turn around behind you is your brand new home <laughs> Oh, I was not expecting that reaction. Actually, at our next destination, there's a river that destroys hundreds of homes every year. And as you can see, there's literally a fridge right there, which I assume got there because their house got swept away. Exactly. So you're saying when this floods, those houses that currently have families living in them could potentially be destroyed. Yes, they will. Well, not on my watch. Because just a couple of miles away, we've built rows of new houses for this community. No joke, we're giving away this home, this home, this home, this home, this home, this home. This home this home this home this home there's a lot of homes so we started with maria and her daughter whose previous home was completely demolished by the river during rainy season and without even a bed to sleep in every single day has been a struggle for them okay.